Welcome to Pocket Watch Podcast. I'm Zach. Cruz. Jake. And we're fucking Pocket Watch Podcast. Yes, yes sir. Laugh at us or learn with us. We're here to grow. And That's growing, we're fucking doing, man. Pocket Watch Podcast. No. What up? That was already we got a guest. <laughs> yes, sir. We're yes, still sir. Getting used to that new intro. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to say that, ain't I? Though. Welcome, welcome to the Pocket no, Watch we Podcast. We got another guest. Yes, I just sir. Didn't know what to say? I'm, that's right. We got. <laughs> we got. We got another guest here today. We got Tim Weston joining us for another episode. Thanks for joining us, bro. What's going on? How y'all doing? Tim Weston. He works at Bethune Cookman. He's director of operations. He's doing big things. He's also my boy from high school. We played football together in high school. He's a he's a Lions fan, so he knows oppression. Uh, <laughs> damn, uh, damn, damn. kind of like the Dolphins. Yeah, yeah. no, no. So I know he knows. Like I know, how, what, <laughs> I know he knows what it feels like. No, but uh, he's joining us. I hope y'all are gonna like this episode. Again, make sure you like, follow, share, subscribe. Tell your mom. Tell your puppy. Your sister and your brother and your mother. Yes, that was good. That was the first time. Tim, did you want to join that? And your cousin. <laughs> yeah! Al- and Alabama style. Uh, also, if you want to connect with Tim, it's just going to be down in the description. If like you want to support us, the Spotify subscription link is down in the description. Also, if you want an energy drink, Dubby. Woo! T- remove that remote. I don't know why you always leave it there. Yeah, I know. That's so ugly. If you want an energy drink, we got our promo code POCKET10 for 10% off at Dubby. It's a dope energy drink. Try it. I tried it. It was good. I'm an energy drink user. I'm a Dubby user. Anyways, let's get to the episode. Two minutes. That's not that bad. Everybody already stopped listening. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get to it. All right. Yeah, let's yo, it up, Tim, bro. thanks so for hot. coming, bro. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Guess here today. No. Tim. Long time friend, doing really good in life. I just want to talk some shit. What's up, bro? What's going on, y'all? Uh, work out at Bethune Cookman as the director of football ops now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. And also, um, I want to talk about something with you, Tim. Okay. So we we talked about college a lot before, right? And college pass and stuff like that. And I think Tim. So Tim, <clears throat> how how did you start that path? So in high school. I had an older brother, obviously Nick Weston. Shout out to him. Yep. Uh, just became a father of two oh, recently shit. too. So twins. But he, uh, yep, twins. He screwed. Um, <laughs> but he went to the University of Florida. I was a couple years behind him. I was like, you know what? I want to be different. Yep. I was like, I've always kind of been in my brother's shadow. So whenever I was making that decision, I was like, let me go see what Tallahassee's like. And I fell in love when I went up and visited there. So kind of knew that that's that's the path that I was going to take. Um, and I, I, I went into sport management. Uh, that was my, that was my bachelor's degree. And I kind of just always, management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I kind of always just knew I wanted to work in sports. Um, just getting involved any way that I could. Now, real quick, bro. I'm going to stop you right there. Cause you gave me some, some stuff. Go ahead. You gave me some stuff, Timothy. What's funny is you, I don't know if y'all heard, but Tim said like living under his brother's shadow, right? Yeah. So, like, Tim, what, were you Valley Victorian or, like, almost Valley Victorian? Yeah, I was a Valley Victorian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, I don't know if any of y'all know what that means in high school, right? That's but a that's, big fucking that's thing. That's top it's in not. the class. Uh, whatever the case is. But Nick is also a badass or whatever, right? So yeah, whenever, he's, he's actually an aerospace engineer now. So, yeah. Woo, he kind of did his own thing. So, so Tim, Tim is unsuccessful <laughs> damn basically that's damn. how it feels sometimes you know but I'm, I'm grinding no but you know what I think is dope bro cause and we don't even get into anything but like you pick you pick business what was it? sports management yeah right a lot of people like we always talk about like college debt and shit and I'm always like alright well if you pick a stupid degree you can't be mad about the debt right yeah. but like w- that is not one I'm not no. saying that's one but that's a risky one right it for is. real it is yeah. cause a lot of people they go through school and they don't they don't get experiences in the right areas and then they mm-hmm. just come out with a degree. Yeah. And if you're not getting experience in that field, you're gonna there's so many unpaid internships that you gotta take. I worked unpaid for, for years in sports while I was just grinding on the side and going to school. Yep. So, you know, 
working in sport, it has it has its entry points, you know. And but it, that's why you're like that's why I said like I also say with like when we spoke on the college debt and stuff real quick. It's also mm-hmm. that's why I say like go to a community college and then go to the big college when it matters. Yeah, like when you're gonna actually get your bachelor's, the one that everybody's asking for or whatever. Just go to the big one then. Like, but wait as long as you can, especially if you don't know what the hell you want to do, whatever. Yeah, for sure. You went straight to Florida State, freshman year. Yeah. Off rip. Yep. And straight out of high school, decided I want to go to Florida State, and I stayed there for, I I got my bachelor's in 2019, and then I got my master's in, in sport management in 2020, the end of 2020. So, got that done in like about five years. Are you drinking a fucking Capri Sun? <laughs> <laughs> it's spiked. Was... <laughs> this going. guy's drinking a fucking Capri Sun. How Tim- am I supposed to take you serious right now? Right? Timothy? <laughs> Timothy? Wait, where's your beer, bro? Ah, come on. Bro. <laughs> huh? Where's your beer? It's gone. <laughs> What's wrong? They drank the last one waiting on Jake. No, you know what's you funny, bro, is that Cruz has never done an episode without a beer. That is or true. some type of alcoholic drink. And this is literally that. the first episode that you haven't had an alcoholic drink, and then you're your you're, you're complete your alcoholic, bro. Come on, choice, man. Your drink of choice is a fucking Capri Sun. <laughs> Those Bud Lights are getting to you, bro. The struggle. <laughs> yo. Tim was like, yo, can I have a water? And I was like, yo, I would love to give you a water, bro. But it's in Christine's car. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And she's not coming home tonight. They gave me a, a ice cold Coke. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering you drinking such a big ass glass. Yeah, I was like, you know, was that Coke was halfway in there. You got this big ass glass. You poured a little can and it was about this high. was <laughs> 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 so, a big ass cup. <laughs> Damn, Cruz is living in that poverty line right now. <laughs> I <feel> like, <laughs> It's oh, no. We love you, bro. Anyway, sorry, <laughs> sorry to cut you off with that. I, gotta I just, I just <laughs> saw him reach and grab him like, wow, wait, what's the <laughs> I gotta pay my student debt, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, <man>. anyway, <laughs> so you started your freshman year in Florida State. <laughs> yo, yo, this guy, crew. <laughs> For real, I sorry. wanna talk about it because. Now that we're reeling it back the fuck in, <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> like, jeez, guys. No, but I remember visiting Florida State, and I saw the best game I've ever seen, man. Which it one was, was it? Clemson came, <clears throat> and Dalvin Cook was still on Florida State. Great. I was at that game with you. You came with us. Yeah. You weren't even on the field yet. No, that was my freshman year. So when did you start going on the field? Because I just remember, like, seeing the best games, and then I was just thinking, like, damn, Tim was, like, on the field for a lot of the good games. Yeah, no, I started my sophomore year there. Um, I, I joined this group where they just basically host recruits. Or recruits. Yep. And then on the game, I, or during the games, I was doing <clears> – excuse me. I was doing the nets <laughs> yeah. whenever they scored for the field goal. Yeah. That was the coolest thing ever because that's when – Derwin was still there. That's yeah. when. I think, oh, that's true. That's yeah, true. Dalvin might have been there for one of those years too. But it was. I, I saw a lot of cool games. Then Florida State went through a couple down years, but they they coming back this year. Yeah, yeah. They're How do you think time. they're gonna do this year? They got a chance. Well, who they got right now? They got Jordan Travis, who could be a Heisman candidate. Yeah. Um, they returned a defensive lineman that was projected to be a first round pick last year. He came back for another year. Yeah. Um, and then they got a couple other guys that, you know, they can really play. They got two good, really, really good wide receivers right now, too. Like a six, seven kid. Yeah. You can go out there and ball. So, damn. And you, gonna be straight. Wait, you, but your family was UF fans, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> growing up, I, I was a Gator fan growing up, actually. So you were, so you were a big Gator fan and then you went to Florida. I remember that was crazy. Yeah. I remember because Nick went to UF. Nick was so disappointed. <laughs> And then so Timothy, two years later, Tim came in and was like, "I'm going Florida State." But Nick, Nick supported me. Like he was, yeah. he was happy that I made that decision. But he was, he told me he was like, "Man, like I, I would have loved for you to come here." And I was like, "I know, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I actually, this sucks for me." But not it. It was cool because we were still close. So yeah, I think it was a good dis- good choice. But yeah, back to talking about <laughs> freshman year, right? Yeah. Well, yo, how, when did you start? How did you start? What were you doing? So I was doing the recruiting thing. We would host 
the recruits on the weekends, and then we would just do the nets during the games. And then I worked in that for two years, um, and then kind of got connected with the people in the recruiting department. Uh-huh. And I was just like, hey, you know, I'm looking to intern. <clears throat> just started going upstairs and um, just doing recruiting stuff, like scouting, kind of evaluating high school players and just yeah. sending them to coaches and stuff. And so that's where I got my start. Damn, bro. Wor- worked in that for three years unpaid um, at Florida State. And then I got – they hired me in the athletics mail room. So not all jobs are great. Actually. Right after you graduated, you yeah. went to the mail room? After I graduated with my master's, I went to the mail room. <laughs> really? Yeah. But you guys are somewhere. But I was still doing other stuff on the side for free for recruiting, and then that's when the hula bowl came along. Um, I was trying to go in a different direction just because I was like, you know, it's it's not really working out for me to get in, in recruiting at Florida State. Like, I just – there were different situations that happened, and I'm like – if it's, if it's not going to be now, I got to go find another experience. Because if I'm being if I'm not being paid here, yeah, you know, yeah. there's there's no point in just keeping that one experience. Like you got to expand your network, kind of just maneuver with different people. Yeah, and at that time you kind of felt like you got some experience and built up and stuff. Yeah, was no, recruiting I, fun though? You're ho- you're hosting recruits at Florida State. That was that was only part <laughs> of it. Um, when I got into the recruiting office, they would have me evaluating players. Um, we would have like weekly meetings with the other recruiting assistants and just go over guys that we think, you know, could come in and play. And I wish I would look like I would I want to look back at my old list and see who actually panned out cuz that was that would be fun. Oh, that was like that 4 or dope. 5 years ago. That would be dope. Yeah, yeah. actually how it played out. Yeah, yeah. Actually yeah. got far made it. Yeah. That would be nice. Cuz I there were so many players that, you know, at recruiting in college is is very interesting cuz it's not like free agency in the NFL where if a team wants you, know. you they'll show you that they <laughs> yeah. want you. In in college, they get to make the decision. They have all the power because there's going to be 15 really good schools that want to recruit you. Yeah. Right. So, especially like you're in Florida State. So yeah, like yeah, one yeah. Of the we're top, we're yeah. recruiting some of the best of the best. Yeah. And we evaluate them. We try to evaluate them as early as you know sophomore year if we can. If they're contributors or at least by their junior year, we kind of want to know who they are as a player. Yeah. Um, so we were evaluating guys that ended up being five stars before they were even ranked. So right. that, that was kind of cool to see. Like, oh, I, I can trust my eyes. I saw that this kid's going to be a good player. And he became ranked. Yeah. 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 That's dope. Damn, bro. I kind of got to see a little bit of that with. Where did you travel for a lot of that? Or did you watch film or something like no, that? No, I didn't travel at all at Florida State. Um, I started traveling when I got to the Because you board. can't, right? You're in school and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Like, I mean, it wasn't. They. Every college is set up differently. If you work in a specific area with the team, like the the equipment managers or something, they travel with the team all the time. They get to do everything that the team does. So really, there's a lot of cool. Yeah, there's there's a lot of different roles. Recruiting just wasn't one that traveled because you can't recruit on the road. Yeah, the recruiter, the only people that can go on the road are the the college coaches. Right. There's a certain number of them on each. But staff. to the games, but did you have to travel to like recruit like? Kids in high school and stuff like that? Nah, what we focused on was bringing them in. So we did the hosting and all of that stuff. So official, they come unofficial in, visits, yeah. You show it, like, to walk them around and yeah, stuff like yeah. that? Ooh, that's kind of fun. It was cool. How was that? What was your go-to, like, move with one of them? <laughs> <laughs> Put my arm around them. <laughs> <laughs> like, we could have a lot of fun here. Right? <laughs> like, yo, hey, Tim, buddy. none of your recruits are coming, bro. What's, what's going on, <laughs> man? <laughs> No, I, I did work for one coach one year, and <laughs> he's calling me right now. Oh, really? <laughs> do, do you need an answer or no? We can pause it if you need uh, me to. Nah, if he, if he calls again, maybe. Okay, that's all good. Keep going. Usually he'll call me like three or four times and text me urgent or something like that. We got to cut this out if he sees this. <laughs> no, no, you're good. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> he might be one of your subscribers. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Yo, shit. <laughs> nah, but <laughs> anyways, damn, bro. So you used to work for like three or four coaches, something like that. Yeah, I worked for three different ones at Florida State. We we would all get assigned to one of the position coaches and help them recruit their area and stuff. So, damn, that's cool. Yeah. Damn. Oh, so you'd go to like what, like the DB coach or like assistant DB coach? Or I something? worked with a linebackers coach, uh, receivers coach, and a quarterbacks coach. 
So you were recruiting quarterbacks, linebackers, and receivers. Yeah. So whenever they were bringing people in, you were the one walking around showing them like how the place was and yeah. stuff like that. No, because that's how you build up trust with the coaches too, and that's that's what really got me my opportunity now. Is one of those guys is the head coach at Bethune Cookman. Really? Yeah. So like that's that's really where I gain my value in this industry. Is like you never know when or where or how that opportunity is going to come, but if you <coughs> build the right connection, someone's going to you know say, hey, let's go. It's good, bro, because some people see some of that shit, like, as slimy or a little bit or whatever, but it's like, no, like, be the best you can, do the best you can, right? Like, you weren't making money or nothing off of it, you were just busting your ass. Yeah. And then just strategically, like, understand certain situations. We were talking about on uh, a couple episodes ago where we were talking about, like, People that will, like, take $20 an hour over $17 an hour, but the $17 an hour job has, like, a lot of opportunity or whatever the case is. And yeah. it's, like, just for three bucks, but, like, there's opportunity here. That's that's kind of why – that's how I looked at going through college, too. Because, exactly. like, those $20 an hour degrees, you can look at them at, where you're coming out something more, you know, set, you're going to – you're going to make some money right off the bat, and there's security in it, you know. I yeah. went for one of those, like – 16 or 17 dollar degrees where i knew i was going to come out and you know be on the top come out and just land in a job just because of my degree yeah so that's where the the experience came into yeah man because that's that's like i mean i keep talking about it but like do you call he didn't text me though (laughs) it's not urgent (laughs) (laughs) it's because it's not urgent but then we talk we talk about it though and we're like uh what's it called if you're going to go to, like, a big college your freshman year or something, do some shit like that. Another thing that's... Try, try your best to work with whatever the case is. Or, I mean, it's no, not always available. But, but you, you said that like, going to community college for the first two years is a good opportunity. Yeah. It really is. The only reason I did it off the bat was because my parents <coughs> did Florida prepaid for me and my brother. Yep. So they paid off our college by the time we were 16 or 17. Yep. And that's what you need, bro. That's yeah. the type of That's the type of, like... Planning and shit Man I don't know Florida man. prepaid was cool though Cause they locked in the rates Of whenever mm-hmm. they started paying yep. they So when they started rates. When we were like Two or three years old Yeah It was like Ten thousand dollars To send us to college each That's right yep. Not just that But they it accrues interest For that over time yeah. too right Yeah You said yeah. <laughs> accrues Oh okay Yeah So that's That's what really set us up And then From there I was just I was like Okay I'm gonna go to A four year school Cause I knew it was already done yeah, you know, I didn't have to. Even if I went to Florida State and didn't know what I wanted to do, yeah, man. which is a main reason that you shouldn't be going to a four year unless but I w- the money makes sense. Yeah, and get, and that's that's dope, and everybody should be thinking about that or whatever. But you know what, man? Like, even if I didn't pay for that, like I was I, like, if my kid told me like, "Yo, I'm going for sports management. I really want to do it, and I'm going to work with the team. Like, my goal is to work with the team. I'm going to try to get as soon as I can." And I'm going to do anything, whatever. So, and, you know, kind of like a little bit of a plan. would be like, all right, cool. Like, we could do that. You know what I mean? But, I, like. I knew right off rip because my orientation <coughs> leader was in the group that I joined, the host group. That I, that was how I got my start. So, one of the first people I met at Florida State, I was like, all right, I'm already networking. Let's go. How many. So, you were Valley Victoria. How many schools did you apply to? Two. Which ones? Florida and Florida State. <laughs> <laughs> and Florida accepted you, too? <clears throat> yeah. That's what hurt. That's what hurt everybody the most. That's funny. I was going to say that had to like really like bother them more than anything. I think I applied to five different schools. They all said no, <laughs> except for you and I. Shout out to you and I, University of Northern Iowa. Fire. I yeah. didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you I remember, go? I remember you so, telling me you applied. I was like, no, I'm going to get in, bro. Like that's the thing with that height. Like what you did is great. Right? But, like, you can't lie. There's a high school mentality. Like, when you're in high school, your teachers tell you, like, you can go anywhere you want. You just finance it or whatever, right? Like, yeah. unless you got prepaid or whatever. But also, like, it's like, damn. Like, there's no, like, everybody thought you were a loser if you ended up at a community right? college. Right? They made, like, a stigma. And I don't there know was if that stigma at that time. Now, I don't think there is. Now it's definitely not. a little bit more, but. I think it makes sense for most people. To, to. No, nah, it still, it still yeah. exists because I talked to, like, young people We're not in high school. They they say the same thing like oh I'm gonna go to university I'm like just go community college why would I want to no, do you that you know what like, though my 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 uh, fiance's cousin she uh she she wasn't like too big on a, on a big school but that's her I guess <laughs> that's my only sample 
That's the only sample I got. But I know back when we were in high school, it was. Yeah. There was we used stigma. to call Valencia the 13th grade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like, fucking that's hilarious, so fucked bro. up because it's not that. Like, you it could, bad you could go yeah. there and go, ha- get, go ham. We're, yeah. we're actually lucky because Valencia is a, a great school. Valencia is a really good because there's some <laughs> shitty community colleges out there. Valencia is right. one of the best Kaiser in the University. Yeah, Valencia is fire. Not just that, but they have some of the best medical <laughs> programs are tied in yeah. with. Yeah, they have some really good stuff there. And they have four year programs now, too. Yeah, they do have bachelor programs. Yep. Yeah, but anyways, like that's why I was like with my kids. I feel like it's like take your ass to community college, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> For the if AA at least, Victor- the AA Yo, doesn't mean shit. Man. You know what, man? If my kid was Valley Victorian or whatever, or if I was like like that's that's Va- Valor Victorian. That's how you pronounce it. Okay, <laughs> he said so confidently. <laughs> that's how you pronounce it. Do we need the dictionary right now? The dictionary. Dictionary. <laughs> anyways, uh. Tell us I about civilization. Fuck, like I would, I would, I would pay for the school, but like it would be like if you gave me that, then I'll send you to the big school. You know what I mean? Knowing Did you have I, that plan? Knowing what I know you didn't now, you have to have that plan. That's knowing right. what I know now, I would have looked at my college experience coming out from high school, and I would have reexamined because there were some barriers getting into sport, and a lot of those kind of were alleviated if you played, just because you networked with coaches in the closest way you could. Yeah, as a player. I never explored like I never explored that. I, I knew I was going to Florida State, and that was my mindset. And I was like, I'm not even trying to walk Ooh, on. Yeah, that's true. If, if I would have came out my senior year and just like dedicated myself to trying to walk on at Florida State, like I I let go after I was done playing football. Yeah. I didn't play basketball my senior year, and I was a, a softball manager. I didn't yeah. do anything after I was done with football senior year. So, and that's why I was like, yeah, I'm done playing football. I'm good. Yeah. Let me ask you a question, though, because it's something that we have talked about previously, but I want to ask you this. Do you feel like you would be in the same position or have had received the same opportunities if you would have done Valencia for like your AA and then transferred to FSU? Do you think you'd still be in the same position or still had the same opportunities? It depends. I mean, if you got to FSU and went ham, yeah, you could be. Like you just have to know how to move and how to network mm-hmm. with the right people. Because if you don't, if you don't do that, a good opportunity is to, like that's why I went into my masters. It bought me more time to be able to work with other coaches. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that's really what it was. I so I finished my bachelor's in spring of nineteen. That was going into Taggart's second year at Florida State, and that was the year that they had let him go, and then they hired Norvell the the following. December, so <coughs> I was like, you know what, I'm going to get my master's right now so I can work with this staff, too. And one of the guys on his staff is now the head coach of Arizona State. So the network just kind of grows. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah, bro. That's true. That's a dope way to look at it, too. It's like, I'm going to get my master's, not even for the degree so yeah. much. Like, obviously, you want that degree or whatever, but, like, mainly to buy me time. The decision was easy, too, and- though, because I applied to be, like, a um, – a grad assistant with the sport management department. And all we had to do was teach like some basic classes, like stretch and relaxation, basketball, really indoor game. I was a PE coach for college kids for <laughs> a year and a half. And that's really? what paid for my master's. Yeah. I only oh, had to work like 10 dope. hours a week. They paid me pretty good and they paid for my, all my classes. So I didn't have to even tell oh, them. That's my fire. Oh, that's fire. That's, that's cool. That's, that's a really yeah, cool yeah. setup. Wow, bro. <laughs> so that's what bought me time. That's why the decision was kind of easy. Cause I was like, well, the like message is free. I just need time with the staff. Like, I didn't even think about that stuff. I just wa- came Worked. to work, put on a yoga video on, on the TV, and said, everybody, let's do some yoga. That was you stretching. You started doing the <laughs> cat cow? Yeah. <laughs> the cat cow? You guys know what the cat cow is? Not no show me. fucking idea. That's when you break your back? That's what they told me to do you with the doctor get on all today. fours and you break your back? <laughs> Yo, you're supposed to... Show me. Show you're me. supposed to get on all fours and break your back, then. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to be doing right now, a cat cow? <laughs> More of a show me Cruz No for real Think about Stop, stop telling me Show me <laughs> Zachary <laughs> Well you get on all fours And then you break your back up And then you break your back in mm. And it looks super good <laughs> It looks good Again show it us so Now no, 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 watch this At, do, Is there any other yoga positions That you know Cruz Child's pose <laughs> Got him <laughs> Got him Child's pose You know another one So you were a yoga teacher Yeah basically <laughs> You were like, yes, yes, encourage. Like, did you really get into it? Like, really feel it? 
I mean, I did yoga. Like, I like bend your back. That's kind of fun. All the way. Yoga's yoga's nice for it's college kids. So it was like college stretch. girls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guy that was cruise. the funny part. Was I was I was still young because I I graduated younger. So I was the teacher for these classes for some girls that were older than me. <laughs> often. <laughs> That's fun. Right? Like who's this little kid telling us to do yoga? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Bend down. <laughs> Bend over, girl. All right, guys. We're going to do it. All right. I'm done. All right. I'm sorry. I'm just surprised there was a class like that. It was great. It was on some some news feeds. Yeah, who the ten, fuck's Top ten, 10 worst classes That's why. America. Yeah, nah, I was about to say, what kind of class That's why I hate college debt, man. One, one credit hour class, people just took it to just get take their it. graduation. Like, fuck this. I need to take some shit. It's like an elective. It yeah, it's elective. an elective, but if they needed like one or two more credits, they'll just take two of those and be done. Yeah. That's, it was so many seniors in those classes. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, though. That's fucking hilarious, bro. I love the basketball class, though. I was just playing pickup every day. Yeah. He yeah. fucking <laughs> balling out. I was like, yo, <laughs> get your ass <laughs> It's for two credits, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. We did five minutes of drills and then, like, an hour of play every single... That's lit, though. Right? Twice a week, yeah. You get your credits. You get to fucking have fun. Yeah, you get exercise. a hoop. You don't got to wait for the court. The waiting for the court was the worst part at the rec, so we yeah. were just like, we, we could just hoop for 40 straight minutes. It's like That's OPE funny. class when they used to throw out the balls, but now you get to do it for that the was in, that was indoor games. What yo? Yeah, that what? was my other class. What yeah. <laughs> Why do they have these school, these classes? <laughs> um, that makes me angry a little bit. It kind of is no, it's like just, not even grade, against you. The only grade attendance. Yeah, but like, what's that for? <laughs> Like, and they charge you for that, that class. Part of yeah. Paying budget. for it to, to be in that class, like it's not free. Is is Florida State a private school? No. So that's our nah. money. Our money is paying for grown ass people to play freaking <laughs> dodgeball. Hey, the learning a concept. You know, it's all about the learning experience. Jeez. It's an elective. <laughs> Tim's just putting the TV on. It's the thirteenth grade. Florida State is the thirteenth grade. They have those. They don't have those at Valencia. Valencia is full of people. No, no, no. Because when I came, when I came back, <laughs> trying to, school, to get shit done. Said there are? No, when I came back from from there, I had to transfer to Valencia afterwards. They had a class. And I was like, what the fuck? Because I already was like a, a junior at this point. And it was a freshman class. SLS. The new student oh. learning experience. Oh, and yeah. it was a fucking whole semester on the new student learning experience. Th- there's actually a cheat code. Nothing that else. There's actually a cheat code at Valencia that nobody tells you about. But you can actually bypass the, the SLS class. If you're doing, if you're going to go for a medical uh, degree, you can actually do... Um, was it? Like patient care or something like that. Hmm. In, in place of SLS. And it actually counts towards your degree. Like your AS degree, and it actually when you actually play for, apply for uh, like a medical program, it actually gives you bonus points to have that on there to it. So it's only medical, right? It's only medical. Yeah, it's patient patient care or some shit. Like patient. Oh, so you just got to be on an AS track versus. A yeah, yeah. So you, yeah, like if you're going to go AS track, you can do it yeah. in place of SLS, and you don't have to waste your money or your time on that. You can actually have something that will benefit you later. I know all too much about AAs and ASs now because when we're tr- like recruiting JUCO transfers, yeah, at Bethune Cookman, Cookman only accepts AAs. They don't accept ASs, except for from California for whatever reason. That's wild because I feel like ASs are better. I think it's smart. ASs yeah. are usually way more in depth. <laughs> they don't accept them. <laughs> and the crazy, th- crazy thing is, most times people who have ASs have more college programs than what an AA is, but they're just missing like. A fucking In English or Yeah something. there is yeah. like a social Or some shit like that bro It's some stupid shit They want the dumb motherfuckers That's what they want <laughs> <laughs> They want the free elective motherfuckers <laughs> out here yo <laughs> Those stretch and relaxation I, I did exactly. fucking dodgeball Those are gonna be the good players right I did there. weight training <laughs> At Valencia just for fucking One of my electives Ah shit How many you credits see? was it? I think it was three Damn was But how? They were how? one credit there <laughs> Nah it was, it was a weight training class yeah That's cool you know, so I, got, I also I, taught another class. It was it was a two credit hour course. It was an online course. I taught the theory and practice of basketball. I kid you not. That one of their assignments, they had to write me an essay on who the goat was. And and everybody def- chose and Michael defended. Jordan and LeBron. That's all you saw. Mostly, all day. but I said you must consider women. Uh, so a couple of Lisa Leslies were written in, and there was there was like yo, three or what four women. the fuck. <laughs> Like, I'm not trying to make a big deal out of this, but bro, these are classes you're paying for. That's for it's like, what if I'm trying to be like a doctor? What the fuck do I know about basketball? No, 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 no. Doctors to, are you take my class and learn. <laughs> like like so he how said, does though, that progress th- there's, a, there's a time and a place. So these colleges usually charge you per credit hour. Yeah. And if you if you need only one credit, why are you going to pay for three credit hours when you only need one credit? 
And take so, a class so that's going to stress you out. Yeah, you're going to be more stressed and everything like that. Versus you can just do like a basic ass <laughs> yoga class with fucking Tim. That'd be fire. And then you pay. You only credit. pay for one credit. With fucking yes. Tim. That's <laughs> but, why people do it. But that's, that's not what it's for. Uh, yeah. that's, that's, what, what, that's why they exist. You know, it's like one of those loopholes in the system. Yeah. That's like, a good yeah, point. Okay, gonna, because like, they know we're all stressed out. What, what, is, uh, what is a credit hour at FSU? What, 3300 or something like that? Thirty three thousand three hundred dollars. No, no. Three thousand three hundred dollars. No, it's, it's in the hundreds. Jacob, it's in the hundreds. No, it's not 3, 3, 3, 300. No, I meant a class. So it'd be like a thousand. I was thinking thousand one hundred. Yeah, like I think they're in like the nine hundreds. Nine hundred. Yeah, so I meant to say so a thousand. Because I was thinking yeah. thirty three hundred for a three credit hour class. Oh yeah. So, it's it's but yeah. So it's about twenty seven. I'd say maybe. Yeah. So yeah, what, what would you want to pay? Would you rather pay fucking twenty seven hundred dollars or eight hundred bucks for a class? I'm gonna pay eight hundred dollars to learn about fucking basketball. <laughs> even though, yeah, bro, if you have one credit, I'm gonna be an EMT or some bunch of bullshit. I'm just gonna learn about. The no, if you only needed one, this is stupid. That's a good point. That's great a good job. Point, <laughs> that is a great point. That's <laughs> a great one. That's yeah. the only Jacob will argue I can no I can't argue. I can't argue. It's valid. I mean, it's it just sucks. Valid. Valid. Jacob's like, I'm gonna get a degree, and all I'm gonna do is take fucking yoga, basketball <laughs> principles, <laughs> 120 times. All the fucking electives I can, bro. I, I'm gonna make this work. Oh Tim, my god. Well, the actual sport classes were cool. Yeah, I bet. They were yeah, real cool. Sure. I mean, they were fun as fuck, probably. You had a good time. Yeah, no. <laughs> one of the one of my favorite memories from college was I studied abroad for one summer in London. And all we did was <laughs> oh, that's just dope. tour London athletic facilities. And oh, that's shit. cool as fuck. Was it was a credit? It was six credits. <laughs> Damn, was fucking six lit. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? We had, like, a couple assignments, but most of them were, like, we, we learned how to play cricket. We learned, <laughs> we learned how to play rugby. We actually yeah. played those things. Rugby sounds like that was an assignment day. Was like we're going to the park. We're playing cricket for three hours. That's like good. cool. That's I've cool. always wanted to play That's rugby. Great. But it's gonna, it, it definitely you look experience. like a rugby player. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna take offense to that or not. <laughs> nah, that's fire. You got that body type. Like, you know, you're a run through motherfuckers. <laughs> that's funny. I, I used to say, have that body type. I, I will say. <laughs> 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 I will say that the the study abroad program. I don't know that it set me apart. In where did you study abroad? London. London. He's like, it was fun. It where was, was that? In London. When was that? Oh, <laughs> I was <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you mean where? <laughs> you're right. <laughs> oh, yeah, fun <laughs> London. <laughs> it was summer of eighteen. Summer of eighteen. Yeah. Ah, okay. So that was like what? That was. That was going into my senior last year. Last year, yeah. Yeah. So you don't think it set you apart? <laughs> No, nah, I don't know. I that. don't. Why would you do that for sports management? I guess right. I don't think we networked that much. Like it's they would fun. Have, maybe if I was, I don't even know. I think yeah, I was still pretty young there, and I was about to graduate, and I wasn't ready to work, so I wasn't networking that hard in a lot of ways. Like I had my path that I was comfortable with. Yeah, you know? so I'm gonna go like, back to Florida State anyway. Exactly. That was kind of my mindset. I was. I'm not trying to. And it. Some people might not have had that mindset. There were some master's students on the trip, too. So I'm sure every time we were meeting people, they were passing business cards and talking about how, you know, they could connect and stuff. So that Yeah, like that is like if you want to do like international business or something, I guess like you could do sports. That, I, I sound ignorant. I mean, shit, you, you can you hop could in. do sports management in London. For sure. Like for sure. But that's always been something I've been interested in is like doing sports overseas for a little bit too. Overseas sports. Would it be really complicated cool. or would it be kinda of like I, I feel like it would be yeah. easier to get in if you did like in the soccer route instead of like the American football route. Yeah, that's the tough part about my career right now is yeah. it's just so football focused. Yeah. I think working in team <clears throat> ops can potentially yeah. open up some other avenues because ops true. is ops. Like, yeah, exactly. You just have to manage schedules and and budgeting and things like that where you could translate sports at that point. If I was in recruiting or scouting, it's not like you're going to go get a job as a baseball scout. It's like sports. You know how to scout It's football. like sports management. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Yeah. That's good. Ops is ops. Like, doing, like, scheduling shit for a soccer team or a football team, it's all board somewhat the same. Yeah. I mean, there's... There might be lot. more for football. It depends. Yeah. It depends on the level. The NFL is different from yeah, that's true. college just because of recruiting. What's your goal, bro? Because you know what? You're moving. You've been moving well. You're doing freaking great. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. it's like, what's your goal in this? Um, like, what's your, yeah. I think, honestly, I just want to continue to pursue success at whatever level I can achieve it at. So in this role, I want to work as hard as I can for as long as I can and just continue to see where that can take me. 
So you don't have nothing like really. In mind. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the next steps. Yeah. You know? Like I look to pursue something, and I'm I'm pursuing being really good at what I do right now. I've only yeah. been there six months. It, it's a it's, big time opportunity. It's so. part of you, like really happy with what you're doing too, right? Like, yeah. No. I mean, it, it, it has a great days, accomplishment. But it's it's everything that I've been working for. You know. Yeah. It's it's cool to see that something that I've been working at for so long is is Pay coming off, along. Yeah. What was your goal when you were at Florida State, or was it the same mentality? I'm just going to keep working and just see where it gets me. It's just got to be in this. Or did you have a goal when you are at Florida State? I think I wanted to work in recruiting. I wanted to be a recruiting assistant somewhere after That's I graduated. Dope, yeah, like they they have a certain number of, depending on the school, they have a certain number of recruiting assistants. If they're Power 5, they're probably student interns. Um, and then sometimes they're graduate interns unpaid. That's similar to what we had at Florida State. The guys that I came up with in Florida State, they all they they all landed jobs for the most part. Two of them are still at Florida State. Um, one is the director of scouting at Eastern Carolina. He just got that job. Ooh. One's an assistant director of player personnel at Marshall. So and, Director of scouting is dope. Yeah, no, these guys, they all been grinding as long as I have. And it's cool to see the people that you come up with are also Making coming up well. with. So the one thing, too, is like... <clears throat> The cool part about your resume pretty much being football focused is that's good for scouting. Yeah. yeah. Scouting, you can't translate. You can't be like, I don't think so. Like, I don't think you could be like a really talented scout for football and that translates to soccer. No, no exactly. That's why when I was in recruiting and scouting, I'm like, I don't want to box myself in too much. And that's why I was like, okay, let me explore ops a little bit. Some different opportunities <laughs> came along. Yeah. So I was like, it's part of you, like, I'm just, I'm here for the money, too. Like, I love this, and if I can make money from this, then, like, it's that's it. Like, I love what I do, and if I can make as much money as possible, then that's perfect. That's exactly the mindset that I was thinking, because I used to, when I was working for free, it wasn't all, like, fun, like, oh, you're recruiting five yeah. stars. Like, sometimes it was, you're dragging guys that walked up and said, hey, we want we want a tour. Mm -hmm. And you might not have been recruiting anybody on that team. Mm -hmm. So it's just like those kind of activities and, you know, all of it wasn't just so much fun. Like I was licking envelopes and sending out, you know, flyers to the, yeah. the prospects, hand -hand, like uh, yeah. custom graphics and stuff that they would yeah. send out to the, the recruits. Like just applying guys. it and getting Yeah, it no, I would send out like hundreds of those a week. Like that was part of my weekly tasks. Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting there as a. Damn, hundreds of those a week. Yeah, no, <laughs> we, went, we sent out flyers like crazy. And I'm I'm sitting there as a master's student doing this, and I'm like, dang, <laughs> if I could if I could just make some money doing this, because I don't mind doing this right now. Like, I'm working for free, <laughs> licking envelopes, and I'm having a great time, you know. So I was like, if I if I can make some money just in this industry, I know I'm gonna be just fine. That's why. That's why I like the. What do you think about the the thing with the what is it the NIA NIL NIL. What do you think about that? Because I feel like colleges, bro, they bank, man. They got this perfect model and this perfect system. And every generation of college students becomes a fan of that school. No matter, Like, it doesn't – like, I'm a UCF fan. I don't even watch college football like that. You know it's what like I mean? It's like a funnel of fans. Yeah. Bro, and it's like a model that just keeps generating more customers if you think about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then how many people like football and if your program's good, whatever the case is – Boom, more money, more money. You got these fraternities, you got this and that. But they're also a, 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 a institution that could, like, not pay that much, right? Like, you got all these high-quality people that we don't necessarily have to pay, right? It's an opportunity thing, but they're also in school thing. Yeah. You know? So it's like, man, bro. I think with NIL, it's funny that you say that it just funnels more fans. Those fans funnel the NIL, really. Because yeah. the schools with the bigger fan base, with the bigger booster clubs, like, that's where those guys are able to get more money. Yep, yep. Like, at a HBCU, they don't get NIL money like they do at no. Florida, Florida State. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> So, that plays into the, the... Big, big schools. Exactly. And you weren't at Florida State when the NIL kicked in, right? I was there for, like, the very beginning of it, and I started to see... You would just see guys, like... Guys on the team would be in a, a Bojangles commercial or something like really? that. Really? Like, or not, not even, they would just post it on their Instagram or something like that. It was just something small. It started out Because they small. were able to get paid. Yeah, for it. and then colleges around the country started figuring out, okay, how can we fit into these regulations? And they, what they started was collectives. 
So they, yeah. it was like a boosters club, but then the boosters club had a, it wasn't rivaling, but the collective was just pouring money into an NIL fund to distribute to the players on the team, to however they roster. wanted to. Yeah, you could, you see guys will say they're official athletes of the something collective. And then they're basically getting that cut, whatever it is for that person. That's a good workaround. Yeah. Wow. That's because they can't. So NILs, you could get paid for likeness, right? Like you could get paid for your name. You could do a commercial. You could do whatever you want. Meaning if you're big enough, you could go do these things. We're not going to stop you. But you can't get paid directly. And the schools can't have any part of it either. Yeah. Like, yeah. They have to be hands off. Exactly. Like we can't pay you to come here. No, but the collectives can pay you. Damn, bro. Absolutely. Welcome That's to, the welcome way that to America. <laughs> the country loop of loopholes. All right, so we're going to start a company that pays people to come here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. And the worst part is probably the the collective like founders so that's probably like somebody's wife. But I don't mind that though because I don't know anything about that. those are <laughs> He's like I'm shutting the fuck up. I don't mind that though cuz those are the schools that they were raking in the most off of their yeah. players. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like if you're in a situation where you could get the most money off NIL, that means that school was making the most off of yeah. free or whatever the case is. You know yeah. like even the money they give them, it's like, that doesn't cover the cost of the Think school. about how much money Johnny Manziel would have made. Yeah. In, that is true. In the NIL era. <laughs> yeah. Johnny was untouchable. Yeah. He would have made so much. They called him Money Manziel, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Even Reggie, Reggie Bush is the, like, big Reggie example, yeah. right? Like, he was so big and stuff, and he got into he got his Heisman taken away because he accepted bribes. And they called it bribes, but it's just people giving him shit because they loved him. Yeah. But he, he got his Heisman taken away because of that. And it's like, damn, bro. That's the bullshit about it. That's why it's like... Didn't they take for. their title away, too? USC? I don't know. I think they won with him, and they took that away, For a too. bribe? That's it? I might be wrong. Yeah, that's terrible, bro. That's huge for just a bribe. But yeah. 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 I'm with you, though, bro. I think that's good. It's kind of cool. It's, like, funny. Like, you're doing really good and shit, but you don't have, like, a real goal. It's kind of like, I just love what I do. Yeah. And I just need to, I just want to find ways to make as much money as I can yeah. doing this type of shit. I think ultimately I'm going to have, I'm going to pinpoint something where I'm like, okay, this is the direction I want to go. Right now I'm at, you know, a young point in my, my life where I'm just kind of willing to do anything, go anywhere, you know. So if I'm looking at a family and, and having to have a work-life balance, I don't know that I'm going to be doing this. That's the thing. But too. it's at this level too, like FCS. It the the staff you work with a smaller staff. Um, at Florida State, they had three or four people to do what I do. Yeah, you know, so it's just you got different one, levels. Once you once you grow up to those other levels, you can potentially have a better work life balance yeah. too, or at least think you could, and <laughs> maybe end up there and have the same work life balance. That's but, true. You think it's easier? Uh, in some ways, maybe, but I think it's also my first year doing it. Like, there's yeah, a lot true. of like. Learning or something. We just yeah, came bro. In. It takes yeah. a long time. I mean, I, they always say like new hires, you like three to six months, right? To really like learn <coughs> a process, a, a thing. And for you, it's different because like every all year is different. Yeah, season. Yeah, exactly. Off like season. we don't we don't settle into something. Like we'll settle into the season and then off season, and it's a complete different schedule for four months. And then you know you you. Sorry, I'm moving a lot, but no, you me too. Okay. <laughs> And those guys over here like making my head bop from shaking his leg. But yeah, For no. so like the summertime oh, was like July is pretty quiet at yeah. FBS. You can't even recruit during July. FCS we were able to, but you know, coach said we need to make sure we're fresh for the season. He gave a lot of the staff a lot of time off for for July vacation so they can you know rest and relax and spend time with their families before it really kicks into being real crazy. That's a division or whatever FCS. Yeah. It's, it, it, it used to be D1AA. Ah, it's okay. FCS now. They have the, the FCS playoffs, you know, where they take 16. When did you work for those? Them. Bethune-Cookman is FCS. So Bethune's FCS. Yeah. Ah. FBS is like all the ones that play for the college football playoff. Ah, that's right. FBS. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, FCS, I, I, like I've been seeing some of those schools. Who's There was one player in that. There's a lot of players in the NFL from the FCS, but not – but doing Cookman, one of Nick Collins came from. Yeah, he's he's our DBs coach now. Nick Collins is your DBs coach. Yeah, really. Yeah, that's my guy. 
Yo, that's dope. Yeah, he he graduated from Bethune Cookman. He was a second round pick. That's fun. The Packers won the Super Bowl. Yeah, Nick Collins was the safety for the Packers when they beat the Steelers in the Super Bowl. I don't like the Packers. Y- yeah, <laughs> shout out Jordan Love. <laughs> what do you what do you think? How do you think the Bears are going to do this year? They're supposed to be really fucking solid. The this Bears, year. the Bears, the Lions. Which one? <laughs> How do you think the Lions are going to do? Because you're a Lions, <laughs> Lions fan. I don't know. He just confused you know, me. Hey, he confused the fuck out of me. I think the Lions are going to be good. I was so happy for the Jameer Gibbs pick, honestly. Yeah, and then traded it away. What's his name? Swift? DeAndre? <laughs> so, yeah, he's hurt half the time. But, yeah, that's true. But Jameer Gibbs, I was I, wa- I went to a Georgia Tech game as a scout for the Hula Bowl my first year in. He was still at Georgia Tech. He was just taking kickoffs and, and like, warm-ups, and I'm like, that kid is special. Really? Yeah, and then after that year, he transferred out. He was the number one running back transfer in the country, and I was like, oh, I do know what I'm talking about. Where did he go? Alabama for a year and then went to the league. Yeah. They say he's going to do big things. He's going to be special. Yeah, man. And we got Montgomery, too, who's – Yeah. I always always talk crap to uh, Justin Carr (laughs) because he – I always said – do you guys know Justin Carr? You do? Yeah, Carr yeah. Bottle. Yeah. The um, Bears. Is Justin Fields throwing 4,000 yards? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think so. <coughs> I always talk crap talk. about David Montgomery, though, and now he's on the lines. And I'm like, oh, he's good. He's actually not that bad he's when not. you think about it. <laughs> nah, Miami's going to win the Super Bowl, so <laughs> it doesn't really matter what's, what's going is, on. Is Tua okay? Yeah, man. He's doing. He's That's doing, what I was going to say, man. Right? We'll see if he's okay when he gets tackled again, bro. We'll see T- one more Tua's time. been doing BJJ. <laughs> He's been doing BJJ. He's been getting BJs. He's been he been uh, uh, talking a little slower since the accident, but it's all good. <laughs> Him and Mike Tyson have been uh, doing is, therapy together. Is it yeah. like a certain amount of concussions you can get before it's kind of like yes? I don't know. You, I done. feel like I feel like you might be in that spectrum. <laughs> it could be. I don't, know. don't. Let's not get. Jacob not, had probably about. Six or seven undocumented concussions. I think so. I've hit my head a couple times. I just never think anything of it. Light's bright, but you know, it's just who he is now. Mama, I can't hear mama. It's just nah, who he the is one now. person I know that had the most concussions on our team was Alberto. Oh yeah, he was getting them left and fucking right. <laughs> he just got back from one, and then he got one getting into his car. You right? Just, just getting into his car. Yes, getting into his car. He got another one. I was like, what the? Fuck? That sounds like something you would hear from Tua. <laughs> yeah. That's true. No, though. except the Dolphins let him go do it on the field the next week. Yeah, that, that was that That's was fucked up. That was <laughs> he like he was fucking. That like, was careless. Yo, that man. looked horrible, bro. Well, he needs to toughen up. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to get that shit right. He's just following those he dudes with a really soft he's your head. Backup. He, he's been he's been doing uh, he's not reputable. No backup. For sure. Put <laughs> you know, his ass on the field. He's not. Uh, what's it called? Is it Teddy still? If you win a Super Bowl, I don't care if you kill your family. He's fifty years down the line. You know what I mean? Wait, whoa. <laughs> Pause <laughs> From that Yeah That that's fucking condition <laughs> Bro there's no Nick Foles Waiting in the background bro That's it He's done What's it? That's Anyways it. guys Anyways Yo is there anything else bro Cause that's like, That's like 50 so That's good No I'm good Good bro Yo thank you for <laughs> joining us bro Of course Thank you guys for listening time. Another week Hope, Hope you, you all enjoyed too. that shit Yeah hell yeah <laughs> We'll be good You know what I'm saying We'll be good We'll be good Again check the descriptions Down below Show us some support We love you guys Thank you for tuning in Another week Like Follow share, Subscribe shit. See that's how See Jacob goes. Fucking shit it's Anyways <laughs> like follow Share subscribe guys Fuck that up Show us some love <laughs> And then, like always, down in the description, like he said, and also go ahead and check out those links and give us some love, and then give Tim some love too. Fucking watch out! Out! Out!